Hello, my name is David and I'm going to show you how a bank reconciliation works in Sage 50 Accounts, the 2015 version. On screen you'll see the welcome area and which we can jump straight into the bank area on the left hand side toolbar. This is where we see a list of banks and cash accounts and from the ribbon toolbar at the top the third button in is to reconcile. So if we select the bank account we want to reconcile and then click that button we're then prompted for a statement reference which Sage now defaults to showing a date with a 01 as it recognizes that many people will want to reconcile banks from online statements rather than traditional printed statements with sheet numbers. So we might put a, a sheet number or we might leave that as a date in there. The end balance, well I've got some dummy data on my system and I know that my ending balance is overdrawn by 1982138 and equally from my demo data I'm just going to put the date in that this data goes to. Generally I would leave these other two areas of interest earned and account charges blank. Um, there's very few people I know who prefer to put any details in there as you'll see later that any missing entries can very easily be entered at a later stage. So clicking OK brings up our reconciliation screen which is split into two halves. The top part is a list of all transactions which have not yet been reconciled to the bank and the bottom is a figure which should agree to our bank statement that we had brought forward. We can change the size of this screen if I want to drag that down so I can see more of the unreconciled items at the top. Just a little walk around this screen. We've got our reference at the top, which again we can amend if we want to. We've got our ending date and the end balance. And right down at the bottom right hand corner, we've got a difference, which is really the target that we want to get that down to nil before we are able to reconcile this statement. So our normal process would be to walk through the bank statement item by item, selecting the entries from the list at the top and simply double clicking on them will move them down to the bottom half and indicate that they're reconciled. Uh, in my demo data I'm actually going to reconcile all of these entries so I can do a swap and match the whole lot on block. And You'll see that my difference at the bottom has now changed to just a thousand pounds so I know that I'm missing a payment of a thousand pounds. Now in earlier versions we might have to save this reconciliation, go and make the missing entry and then come back to this and do it a second time. Sage now have an, an easy method of putting an adjustment in there and you'll see that by clicking the adjust button there's actually all different types of entry that I can make from bank receipts, supplier payments, bank payments, refunds. In fact there's almost every type of entry apart from a bank transfer that we can now put in there. So I'm actually going to make a single bank payment for my missing thousand pounds and put this entry in and I'm just going to make this entry to the director's loan account. And when I save that, you'll see now that the bank reconciliation difference has cleared to zero and I can now mark this as reconciled. What this does is creates a PDF version of this statement listing out all of the entries that are on there which should mimic the actual bank statement uh, that we've had from the bank or the downloaded statement and at any time once this is uh, completed we'll be able to go back and review those PDFs of the individual reconciliations. As I mentioned earlier that uh, at any point we could save the reconciliation part way through and then come back to it to review at a later stage. Having completed that 
I now go into the bank record and under the memo we'll see a little folder of statements and here is the list of all of the PDFs of historic bank statements. If you have any comments on this area please leave those underneath or otherwise please check out our other videos.